Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I just recently rolled over 10,000 miles in my 2020 Hyundai Veloster N and I wanted to quickly go over my ownership experience thus far for any prospective buyers. I purchased this car new on June 23rd of 2020, so I've owned it for about four months. In terms of my experience using the N as a daily driver, I really enjoy it. It handles confidently, the acceleration is more than adequate for daily driving, and contrary to many reviews I read, the suspension, although firm, was not punishing whatsoever while driving every day in normal mode. The active exhaust is fantastic as well, quiet when you want it to be, such as when you're leaving early in the morning for work, and loud when you feel like enjoying the sound of the engine. The customization of the vehicle is wonderful as well, being able to drive with the steering and suspension in comfort mode while still having the exhaust in the most aggressive setting is very nice. I've done approximately 15 autocross events and two track days with the N since I purchased it. The car handles extremely well at the limit and despite my limited driving experience, I was able to put down some fairly respectable times compared to other drivers and vehicles at the events I was at. The car does tend to oversteer when the stock tires are cold, but once the tires heat up the car becomes much more neutral in terms of handling. Of course, being a high horsepower front wheel drive car, the end does tend to understeer if you really push it into a corner, but if you control the throttle and braking on entry and exit, the car is unbelievably capable and more importantly, a ton of fun. Obviously, as you'd expect with any new car, the N has been completely reliable thus far, with no issues to report or work needing to be done outside of routine maintenance. The N's maintenance requirements over the first 10,000 miles have been very affordable. The first oil change was done on July 8th at 1,157 miles and cost roughly $30. I made the mistake of buying my oil at an auto parts store instead of Walmart, which is why it was so much more expensive than subsequent changes. I used Quaker State 5W30 full synthetic an OEM Hyundai oil filter and an OEM crush gasket for the drain pan. The second oil change was done August 10th at 5,590 miles and cost me $28. In this period, I took the car on a road trip to Colorado. The end was surprisingly comfortable while cruising on the highway and eight miles much better than a performance-oriented hot hatch should. On the highway, I would see upper 20s to mid 30s in terms of fuel economy. When I returned, I rotated the tires at my house. It was easy to do and obviously didn't cost anything. The next oil change was done at 9,094 miles. The cost was $23.47, and I also added a fuel system cleaner, which cost $5. The final maintenance item for the first 10,000 miles was an OEM engine air filter. This cost me $44.94, including shipping to my home. Lastly, fuel. I have driven roughly 11,500 miles thus far. The car takes premium fuel, and my average fuel cost over four months has been about $3.10 per gallon. Using an average of 28 miles per gallon, I have spent roughly $1,200 in fuel over the last four months. In total, including fuel and maintenance, I have spent roughly $1,376.35 to keep the Veloster N on the road. Keep in mind this isn't including the cost of the vehicle, as I paid cash for it, nor is it including the cost of insurance, as this varies drastically from person to person. The only minor gripes I have with the end so far is the interior. Although extremely well assembled, some of the touch points, such as the place where you'd rest your elbows, are pretty firm and not generously padded. I understand this car was built to a price point, with the majority of the de development dollars going to performance, and I'm not asking for a luxury level interior, but it would have been nice to have a little more comfort in the areas where you'd rest your arms. Otherwise, the seats feel great and are comfortable on long journeys, the steering wheel and shifter feel good and the button layout and infotainment system is logical and easy to use. Overall, this car has been fantastic and just as enjoyable to drive as all the videos and reviews have made it sound. I'm looking forward to piling on more miles and seeing how Hyundai's first proper North American market hot hatch holds up. As always, thanks for watching.